Hello, this is Dave with Escape Room Devices demonstrating our programmable and interactive rotary telephone prop. Uh, this particular phone or this particular prop was built around a Western Digital desk telephone. This was standard issue by the Bell system from about, well, I don't know from when about, but till about the mid 1980s. And uh, I like working with these things because they are just, they're super robust, they're, they're darn near indestructible which is a good thing to have in an escape room. Uh, as an escape room operator, you're probably familiar with several different types of magnetic locks. Uh, this is a very common type that's used to hold, hold cabinets or sometimes doors shut. Uh, here is a bigger brother version of it. And the way these locks work is it's basically an electromagnet. So when 12 volts is applied to this thing, it has great adhering force to this plate. And then when power is removed, it unlocks. There's also a type of solenoid lock you might be familiar with that looks like this. Um, it's exactly the opposite of this. This is locked when it's energized. This one is unlocked when it's energized. So right now there's no power flowing to it. And then when you trigger it with electricity, you apply 12 volts, then the, it comes apart. And so then the door or whatever it's holding can open. This prop can actually work with both types of latches, which I will demonstrate uh, shortly. So that's one thing. The other thing to know is that it's extremely easy to set this up and to uh, configure it and to wire it up. So everything, it's all self-contained. All the smarts are inside, as we'll see in just a second. And then on the wire, you've got 12 volts coming in, and then you've got the controlled 12, this is like raw 12 volts coming in, and this is the controlled 12 volts going to your mag lock or your latch or your lights or whatever it is that you wanna trigger with it. So um, first thing we'll do is we'll connect power, we'll connect our lock. And in this case, what I've done is I've got two things going on. So I have this little cabinet here, which has a spring loaded drawer. So there's a spring trying to push the door open and one of these mag locks holding it shut. So, so as long as power is applied, this thing's gonna remain shut. I also have this light bulb connected in series with it. I'm sorry, in parallel with it uh, to demonstrate when the lock is energized and when it's not. That's gonna become useful in, uh, in just a minute, as we'll see. So when you receive the prop, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is open it up because you're gonna to wanna to access the setup menu, and that's done with the button on the inside. So we will take this guy apart. And the way these old Western electric telephones came apart, there's two screws. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. And all we have to do is undo these two screws. one down here all right and then the lid will just lift lift right off I'll set that aside and uh, I'll show you the inside of this guy um, it's based on an Arduino micro platform but then it's on a custom printed circuit board so all the electronics are self-contained you don't have dangly wires or anything like that it's got a nice clean install I'm using these very high powered MOSFETs that can handle tremendous amount of current. I've got uh, anti-flyback diodes built in. So everything's really self-contained here and that's what makes wiring it so easy because it's, it's all set up to go. So the one thing I'm gonna do though is because it's playing sounds that are coming through the handset um, that you probably can't hear, I have a speaker that's near the camera and what I'm gonna do is unplug the handset and then plug in the speaker so we can hear what's going on. So we've got a dial tone there. Okay, so, um, and the first thing we'll do is we'll set up, we'll, we'll, turn the, we'll turn the volume up so you can hear. So the way the menu is accessed is there's a button right here on the side of the circuit board and we'll push that button. Main menu, to set the volume, dial one. And I'm gonna do that now because it's so quiet it's hard to hear. Volume. The current volume is 7. To change the volume, dial a number between 1 and 9, with 1 being the most quiet and 9 being the loudest. 
Dial zero to return to the main menu, or hang up if you are finished programming. So there's a range of volumes that are available. That seven seems to be good for the speaker that I have. And we're gonna to listen to the menu options real quick, and then I'll pause this for a second. Main menu. To set the volume, dial one. To set the puzzle solution telephone number, dial two. To configure the type of lock or latch you are using, dial three. To set the unlock duration, dial four. If you are finished programming, hang up. So it's it's just like when you call your bank and you want to check your balance. It's a phone tree just like that, except it's all done with a rotor dial phone instead of a push button phone or the buttons on your cell phone. So we've already seen how you can change the volume. Now what we'll do is we'll program the lock solution. Main menu. To set the volume, dial 1. To set the puzzle solution telephone number, dial 2. Puzzle solution. The telephone number that must be dialed to unlock the puzzle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. To change the solution, dial 1. To return to the main menu, dial zero, or hang up if you are finished programming. So we'll change it to 555-1212 from all those cop TV shows. You are now programming the number that will unlock the puzzle. When you are ready, dial the number which will become the unlock code. Puzzle solution. The telephone number that must be dialed to unlock the puzzle is five, 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 one, two, one, two, returning to main menu. Okay, so I'm going to pause right here. Um, you can set any length telephone number that you like, anything up to 15 digits. Uh, I don't recommend doing a number that long. Uh, seven seems to be a good number because that's what most U.S. telephone numbers were until very recently, and certainly in the era of this telephone that was the case. So, um, so right now, well, let's pretend that the cover's back on, you've put this back in the, in the room, players come in, and they, they think they've found a solution. You know, they pick up the telephone, they get a, a dial tone, and um, so they decide to try something, and in this case, They've tried something wrong. But you'll notice even in the earpiece, you'll hear the click, 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 which is what old rotary telephones, like that sound, because that's what they sounded like. So that was the wrong number, as we'll find out shortly. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Okay, so they've... Uh, They've realized the error of their ways. They're going to go and uh, do some more homework. They re-examine the clues in the room, and they discover what the correct phone number is, which is Notice that the light bulb went out because the latch is now unenergized, but it's going to come back on again because this prop is self resetting. So, after a configurable period of time, see the light just went back on, so now this thing can be relatched. Um, we actually can change that duration, which I will demonstrate next, and I'll also demonstrate uh, switching this from a mag lock to a solenoid lock. So, we're still in setup mode, so the cover is off now because we're you know still setting it up. We push the, the programming button. We're back to the menu. Main menu. To set the volume, dial 1. To set the puzzle solution telephone number, dial 2. To configure the type of lock or latch you are using, dial 3. To set the unlock duration, dial 4. If you are finished programming, hang up. Unlock duration. 
When the correct number is dialed, this telephone prop will unlock the lock for 10 seconds. To set an unlock duration of 2 seconds, dial 1. To set an unlock duration of 5 seconds, dial 2. For a duration of 10 seconds, dial 3. For 30 seconds, dial 4. For 1 minute, dial 5. For 5 minutes, dial 6. For 10 minutes, dial 7. For 30 minutes, dial 8. For 50 minutes, dial 9. Dial 0 to return to the main menu, or hang up if you are finished programming. Unlock Duration When the correct number is dialed, this telephone prop will unlock the lock for 2 seconds. Okay, so the reason for going for having all those options really depends on how your room is set up and what kind of what kind of puzzles you have. For example, I didn't install where solving the puzzle, it didn't unlock a door. What it did was it turned on a bright LED spotlight that backlit something in a wall, so which would reveal there'd be a, a puzzle that you normally wouldn't be able to see until the backlight comes on. So for something like that, you'd want a very short duration. Um, in the case of a spring-loaded door like this, because the spring, you know, once the thing is open, you've got some resistance to overcome to reclose it, maybe it doesn't matter how long. But you might have, you know, some sort of a prop or a latch or something where you want a longer um, lock duration, but still have the puzzle be self-resetting. And so that's the purpose of having all those options. So now if we dial the number again, we'll still see the door open, but you'll notice that the light bulb will only go out for two seconds. Okay, so watch, now we, we de-energize the latch, and then it's going to come right back on because we selected that short duration. So the last thing to demonstrate is how you would configure this for a solenoid type latch, which is the exact opposite. The power is off, and then you apply power to unlock the lock. And actually for that, two seconds is probably an appropriate duration. So we'll, we'll again, the cover's off, right? So we can access the programming button. Main menu. To set the volume, dial 1. To set the puzzle solution telephone number, dial 2. To configure the type of lock or latch you are using, dial 3. Lock type. This telephone prop is currently configured for use with magnetic locks. To use this prop with solenoid locks instead, dial 2. Lock type. This telephone prop is currently configured for use with solenoid locks. Returning to main menu. So you'll notice that the light went out. So in, so that's showing that the, the lock is not energized anymore. Um, and then when now when we solve the puzzle, you'll see we'll see it come on for two seconds and then go out. And there you go. Um, so that's the, the base software that this comes with. If you want custom stuff written, I certainly can do that. Uh, for example, this board actually has the ability to drive two different uh, latch outputs. I've only got one connected. Because that's typically in an escape room, you know, a prop, like you have one prop per use, but you might have a special application where you want a message played or you want to have a second thing open. And I certainly can write code for you that will do all that. But um, but as this is now, it's it's a nice, you know, user configurable. You can reuse it. So when you know when you when you decide to change your room out, you could reuse this prop simply by changing the number and hook it up in the new room, and um, you know, and you're off and ready to go. You don't need to buy another prop again. So that's the uh, that's the programmable telephone. If you have a different telephone that you want to use, 
Um, I most likely can adapt this to work with just about any phone that you provide if you want. Otherwise, I've got a selection of these available. This is a beige desk phone. I've got black ones. I've got wall phones, both in beige and black. Um, and, you know, if you need to source a, a specific phone for, you know, for a, the theme of your room, you know, that's something that, uh, that can be done also. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.